Right, this is Praying Mantis. It's probably one of the strangest machines in the museum. It's built on the chassis of a universal carrier. It's got the same Ford V8 engine as the universal carrier, but the interesting thing about it is the fighting compartment here. It takes two men, a driver and a gunner, and the idea was that it would lay virtually flat, be almost horizontal, so it could creep up on people. And if it wanted a fire, it elevated itself hydraulically and then fired with two Bren guns from that little box up the top there, which could be, they hang upside down and the gunner could fire them. It, it's a most peculiar thing, horribly uncomfortable to travel in because the men are laying flat on their tummies and driving with all the controls under their chests, which isn't always the best way, but it is very well sprung. Not only the chassis, but the whole body wobbles up and down frantically when it's going across country. Um, they were designed by a chap called Tap, Mr. Tap, who worked for County Commercial Cars. He developed this idea from being a machine gunner in the First World War and he produced these things. Of course, they were never adopted by the British Army. It's only luck that this thing has survived. The head, as you can see, moves up and down, and that's hinged separately from the main body of the vehicle. Otherwise, the men are just laid inside. They can look out the back, though. How you manage to twist yourself around to peer out the back in this thing, I've never figured out. But that's all it is. It's a very simple little vehicle, and it works perfectly well. It still does, but... Uh, it's, this part, the elevating bit's not so good as it used to be, but uh, it's an unusual vehicle by any standards at all.